is also in the house. So our guest of honor today is Mr. Haj Karim Kalisa. He is the managing director of Salam TV. Let's give him an applause. You are very welcome, sir. He is also a managing director for PAL FM, Salam Charity, and he is a very good friend of our director. And as our director is our mother, what does that mean? That makes him our friend too, our uncle, our father, you can name it, yeah? Thank you very much, sir, for honoring our event. And then, besides him, we also have a, a member of parliament for Chando, Chadondo, Mr. Mr. Nkunyinji Muwada. Chadondo, Chadondo, where are you? Let's come to you. Oh, okay. Your MP is right here. So as we wait for Sumaya to get on stage, I'm going to request our director to say something about our guests, introduce them, and remember, having fun, Kitty. Thank you very much. Our director, please, let's give her a round of applause. Our mama. Yes, thank you, thank you, Sabrina. Mama Kaboji, Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. By the way, we are live. We are live. When next media is around, you know that the function is is uh, live on what on TV. Um, I don't want to be the person to speak for these very special guests. Uh, what I can say is that sometimes some people have privileges in life to be very important people, but they remain, they, they remain casual, uh, they remain supportive and very helpful. 
I have known the special guest for a period of around now uh, 16 years. But I knew him from a very, was a friend of a friend of a friend. But I ended up having him as my best friend. <laughs> so, so what am I saying? Widen your network. Widen your network. You can have a friend. It doesn't mean he's no longer a friend to those friends of mine, but I feel he's more of a friend to me. Now, I don't, I don't know what is happening the other side. So, so don't call me a, a, a snatcher. He's my friend. So I'm happy to have you here. Thank you for being Muslim. Thank you for... Thank you for supporting Mike. I want to inform you that we have a run for a girl child education. This run is going to take place on Sunday, Sunday next week on the 22nd of May. And I, I want to take this opportunity to remind you and also call you to be part of us. The letter is already on your desk. Bring as many friends as possible so that we ensure that all girls in Uganda access higher education of learning. Thank you. The fact that you're here today, I am I'm sure you will join us next Sunday. Thank you. Thank you very much. May Allah reward you. I'm here in two uh, capacities. Now I humble myself, sir, to invite you to come and say a word to these very beautiful, special ladies who are future members of parliament, future speakers, ministers. This is a humble place that trains any type of woman that you know. By receiving the words uh, that are going to come out of you, I, I'm sure they will nurture us for the next level. Thank you very much. You're most welcome, sir. Uh, our dear director, uh, Dr. Madina, the mother to our children, lecturers, administrators around, our good parents who might have been invited, a few that are lucky to be here today, my brothers and sisters, my great honorable in the house. When you see the parliament of Uganda today, when you want to inquire the honorable of Kalisa, always think about Muada, who is seated behind here. Another applause, I've not heard my girls. Ah, at least, applause for my MP, honorable Muada, and everyone around. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's unusual to speak in the middle of the activities, activations that are still going on. But we have requested. We have requested that we say something and the proceedings go on, 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 even if you finish at midnight when you are not on pressure. I thank your director here uh, who decided that we be part of you. The director who decided that we be part of you. But let me say this before I go on. What I have learned from Dr. Madin, I know her very well. But what I'm learning of these days is the grooming of the girl child. The way she grooms you. She gives you a chance to make sure that you be mature. Not to be indoor, but gives you a chance to move and move on. Why I am coming late, it's because of her culture to make sure that you be responsible people for our nation. 
It was around two when I received a call to two young daughters. I can't recall the names, but I know the parents. Introduced themselves as the students of IUIU Kaboja. But that would be not enough for them to allow them to come to my office. They said, I'm the daughter of so and so. Same part, they are there, I've already seen them. So when I heard the name of my sister, I'd say, Muje, Kari Muje Tulabe, we have a letter for you. I had to know that the letter comes from a uh, doctor. So when they arrived, I said, I'm not in their office. I would be coming a bit late, but take the letter to my office. Lucky enough, as I was parking the car, the two young ladies entered. They were far about COVID-19. No, they were speaking English. They were not speaking Luganda. It's us who called you. I said, ah, you? You don't resemble so and so. I said, I'm the one. But smiling, I saw the picture of the mother. Then I said, what is it? A, B, C, D. So I asked her, what is my responsibility? Why do you need me? You are a special guest. So I had to ask her, who is the guest of honor? We are inviting a minister from the Ministry of Culture. So I, took, I can't remember the ministry. Because I was rushing, I said, what would be my responsibility on that day? Maybe you can say a word as a special guest. <laughs> so indirect, I had to put a big cross. But I not tell them that I will not come. Because we keep measuring the responsibilities of the day. When I measured, I put you in the fourth category. <laughs> so today, a certain lady Khadija, Hajat Khadija, Narumansi, she's seated there, one of the daughters here, who came at my office, I think the daughter of Aida, the young sister to Khadija, calls me. <laughs> she's always on pressure. <laughs> Tension. You know, <laughs> this one is not calling me. <laughs> now the parent calls me. Kaliso liwa nimuga rudda wonjagarawa. Ngaba kulinze nemubuza where? Where are you waiting for me? That wanoku university e kaboja. Nemubuza bikukwatira kowa. No, no, no. They are waiting for you. I said no. I don't have much there. I'm not a guest of one. I said, you are the chief guest. I had a board. I had just moved out to briefly. The way I'm dressed, I'm going to give away my daughter today. Dr. Madina Namu. I'm bringing this to show even the parents that are here how doctor grooms the children. She hasn't called me. She wants everything to be done by the students. But when to bouncing back, grooming, they had to run maybe to the mother. <laughs> Even she had just called me two minutes ago. Now we begin to be at when the doctors come because she wants to see you people grow and be responsible people. So we thank doctor in front of you for the great work you are doing. The second last before because we are here, we are here for talents to see the hidden talents. That's the main issue of that. We know that you are academicians. You came here, you qualified to be here. But doctor want to discover more talents hidden in you. Want to make the university lively. That would be, will be my last point, And we'll do it together. And I show you that I, am, I also have talents. They will put a song for me and I will show you. Even if I'm in a fan. <laughs> the second last, never appreciate me. But I want you people to appreciate my honorable. As I was coming, I had to know that when you proposed to doctor and accepted that I should be with you today, I started measuring myself. But I may not weigh high to these daughters of mine. Let me take a honorable. Because me, they know me in these issues of TV, taking rice, feeding the poor. I had to call my MP around 2.30. So he said, he's with his in constituents, he's greeting them, he's talking to them freely in their houses. I said, Honor will come and we visit these daughters of ours. He has decided to come. Where will you get such a, an MP, really, that is so responsive? 
to such ideas immediately and stop just hearing the issue IU, IU, and it is the issue to deal with our children, our students. These are the people we want. When he was entering, I had to shout hard, especially to the guild president. Shout high that that one entering is the honorary member of parliament. Not to think that maybe he has just completed the university. Maybe, maybe. He looks young, but the ideas he has for this country, really they are too, too high. And that's why the responsible people, your parents, and those, the stakeholders of this country, decided to entrust him one of the most competitive position. You see, we have constituencies, but there are constituents that are a bit higher. Let's say if President Museven, but for them they are not allowed to, to stand for MPs. Maybe the, the Prime Minister. The constituents of Prime Minister is a bit competitive. The people that come to stand there, by the magnitude of someone who is supposed to be there, it means that that constituency is at a certain level. You just imagine <laughs> a constituency that has been dropped <laughs> by no any other person other than <laughs> it's, he's, he's a man of your age. Chao Gurani, Saint Amu, Bobby Wine, and decide is someone that is responsible for my constituents is Honorable Mwada. Erakona Kote Mukakobi de Mungaro. Arriving in Parliament, we have cabinet and there is a shadow cabinet. The shadow cabinet, its responsibility, I'm talking to the educated, is the one to guide the government. They have full cabinet, the ministers, so and so. So, the big positions that guide the nation, one of it that is in charge of Uganda and uh, the rest of the world, it's the Foreign Affairs Ministry. And they said that besides the minister who is there, we are putting a shadow minister, and he's the minister for foreign affairs, shadow cabinet. We want excited public. We came here for the excitement. So thank you so much. Lastly, I encourage you to be responsible ladies. I encourage you to be, you don't need to be either in this cabinet, to be in the guild, to be one in charge of a certain lecture, that you should be you are at your own level. Given the fact that you are here at the university, please try as much as you can to be responsible. It is what you are doing here today that will make you, will, will shape your future. No miracles. What you are, you are, you, this is your, one of the, your last stage for your first education because the education cannot end. We are also still being educated. Your doctor is in school, is being educated until you enter Kaburi. So we are in schools forever. But at, at the level where you are, by the virtue of your parents to try and push you, some of them stop there. So, much as you are here, and you are ending your first degrees, make sure that you use this time, even if you are in third year, utilize the semesters that are remaining to be responsible. For education, we are okay with you, but you are self how to be responsible with your colleagues in class, in dormitory, hostels, in any other area. Here swimming, the way you carry yourself is going to be a landmark, it's going to be a mark on you wherever you will go. For the time I have been with the doctor, it's just now I'm learning that she's a guild president. Listen to this. It's now I'm learning that she's a guild president. I thought that she's maybe a young lecturer, maybe an assistant lecturer, because I was seeing her age was at just wondering, fighting with the age. But the way she was interacting with the director of the school, I don't think that this lady will remain the same. She will never. Having a contact just for the director, that's enough for her to make her life move on. These honorable members of parliament, they are not coming from heaven to go and enter the parliament. You trace 
Honorable Muwada, how he went through Makerere University, how many times he contested as a guild president, how many times he was at Law Development Center, how he was, what he was doing there. These things just follow and follow. And it is after the day she will hand over her office as a guild president, another issue will come in immediately. Insha Allah. It is these people that will, will be looking for her. It's the public outside that will be looking for her. When she comes to my office looking for that, for her she will not look for jobs. Jobs will look for her. Because we are seeing her. These young girls that came to my office, as I was just chasing them away, giving them some small, small money to, to leave me and go and do other things. We have this. They started saying this. Very aggressive young girls. I was so impressed. They we have even t-shirts. So I requested one of these. I was, I think, with him. I told uh, him to take them to my office, interact with my staff, because just stopping here down may not be good. Take them up, they interact with my staff, they sell even their t-shirts. Because of their aggressiveness. So let's be responsible. It's from what you are doing that will lead you where we are. Those two young girls, I can't forget them. So thank you very much. We thank you for uh, giving us this minute. And, uh, and uh, we assure you that for the girl child, will be around. And if my honor is not outside the country, because he moves a lot outside the country, if he's in the country, my honor will be here. If he doesn't allow to come here, even the car I'm driving, I will tell him I'm stopping driving the car you gave me. I will say, I'm not driving it. I know he will come. The MP will be here. But what brings me here, there are things I'm counseling on that day. I want to compete with this doctor. When we are coming down, she was talking about this. I asked her, how will you run? She said, I'm going to run with my daughters. Will you afford for us? We are getting here. She said, she's going to afford to run. I said, I can run. Also because you are going to run. I think in the singer, she said, you can't. Why I'm coming to run? Please, you people cheer me. I'm going to win your director on that day. And if she wins me, I will tell you something after our run. And I will fulfill it. She will not beat me, I'm very sure. She says she's fit, that she swims. So let me take this opportunity to invite my honorable to come and say something to you. Greet you briefly. Obugaro, as our honorable come. Obugaro, honorable, come and say something to the students. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, the director, IUIU Fimero's Campus, the managing director, Salam TV, Salam Charity, the dear parents, members of staff, lecturers, and the gallant students community of IUIU, I want to applaud Haji Kalisa for praising me beyond the reality. But I'm a simple person. My name is Mwada Nkunyinji, member of parliament for Chadondo East. I'm also the shadow minister of foreign affairs. And I'm also the deputy secretary general for the Muslim parliamentary caucus, parliament of Uganda. Being in an academic institution, I, I need to mention I'm, I'm a lawyer, I'm an advocate of courts of judicature, and, and specifically, I used to lecture at, the, at this particular campus, Focal of Law. So it gives me pleasure and pride to be part of IUIU Females Campus, uh, as you demonstrate.
various skills and, and, and art that ignite our normal way of living. We have learned to live well in society by cultural calling, religious calling, and at times what we study. But we are more attached to the values of our society. I've seen the students' performances. They were very excellent. I want to say that as members of parliament, especially the youth members of parliament, we are going to ensure that we continue our support with the students' community, especially those of the Islamic University in Uganda. You are in a public institution established by an act of parliament. For all the years, IUIU has been among the best, if not the best, in this country. But you are not only the best in academics, you are the best in values, you are the best in morals, you are the best in all. We have hope in you, you are now the mirror of society, you are the mirror of academia. You can hear what happens in other institutions. With all the basic values we, we, we see and expect in you, coupled with the good academic environment. We shall stand with you in the challenges and we shall stand with you at all points of success. I want to congratulate you for those who have attended because you spared your time. And I want to congratulate the particular members and students who have participated in demonstrating and showcasing a number of talents on stage there. It's indeed a sacrifice. I could see younger women exemplifying different characters. Some were like men, some were like children, some were like, 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 like women. Those are not simple. Those are not simple. It, it, it demonstrates the, a, a culture of art. In our society, part of our reasoning and thinking is demonstrated by what you ignite, to, what you ignite in terms of what we do and what we practice. It, it's a good calling as, that as part of academics, we must also think of other co-curricular activities and other activities. Good enough, we are before a swimming pool. I'm certain you also have swimming skills. Now, it will be absurd when you live IUIU. You, you. You, when you can't know how to swim, you can't know how to, to, to participate in sports. I had uh, the chief guest and the director promising to compete in the next coming run. I am also just waiting to see. Because <laughs> I doubt if Haji Kalisa can actually win. But, but it is also my bet. I, I think the director is still more fit. But by virtue of supporting the girl child, who are we? to doubt the, 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 the readiness of Haji Kalisa. Today coincides with the day when we as politicians, especially in the NUP, we are also demonstrating the value of the girl child. As I speak, the first lady, Honorable Babi Chagulani, is in London, speaking about a girl child. At a, at a girl child empowerment conference organized by a, a number of female activists in London. Being at the Islamic University in Uganda, we want you to participate in a number of activities, not only local, but also international activities. Yeah. Because you are at the Islamic University in Uganda. Recently, I was, in, I, was, I, 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 I was with the former rector in Jidda. He's now in the Islamic Organization of Islamic Conference. So we have a lot of connection as IUIU Uganda. We know you can have a number of openings. We want the students committed to participate in international competitions. We believe they exist, and as a shadow minister of foreign affairs, I'm now, I'm now making it a, a burden on myself yes. to call upon the director of IU, IU, uh, Females Campus to ensure that you as students participate in all international forums yes. and competition because we have a share and, and, and we have a stake. But in, in terms of the practices and what you have demonstrated today, we are with you. And in parliament, we shall always stand with the, with, with the women, we shall always stand with the girl child, but I can't deceive you, we can't also forget men, because we are also there. Mm -hmm. But we shall all support you, you have been supported enough, the affirmative action is always in favor of women. Mm -hmm. When you go to any district, there must, be, there must be a woman MP. Most of the policies requires that there must be a female person. Mm -hmm. But will you be there unless you go through school? 
it also requires education. So your empowerment begins with the study. Be the best of the best in, 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 in institution, in class, in lectures, and in exams. You will also be the best and you will qualify for what opportunities out there. I want to give you courage and confidence that society speaks so good of the Islamic University in Uganda. And, and the society speaks of too much good about the Islamic University in Uganda, Females Campus. You have done us wonders. You must be supported and we shall support you. We shall push parliament wherever you need to be put, for anything to be pushed. We are there for you. We shall stand with you and we shall always be in solidarity with you. I want to applaud your director for the efforts and the sacrifice. She has been a lady who has stood for you. And, and I want to applaud the parents. I want to applaud the parents for saving time and being part of this particular program. I'm seeing a number of parents and to our staff for the sacrifice. They have always been here. But allow me also, as I conclude, to thank the, the Students' Guild. I want to assure you that even us, we are now in the parliament. We used to be part of these ordinary Students' Guild activities. We used to be part of ordinary house activities. I remember in my study, I was in Gombe. I was a house prefect for Mutesa. I was at campus. I used to be in most of these activities. You must be part of these activities and you'll make it. The world is bigger out there. But this is a generation of the youth, and you are the youth, no one else. You can do and you can be anything in this country, even while at school or even after school. We have so many opportunities. I'm looking at future legislators in parliament because you are, you are educated. After all, the qualification is senior six to get a parliament. You are already at university. But there is no half year in education when you, when you don't finish university. So also study hard, get degrees. There are so many opportunities. Money will be there. Jobs will be there. And I can't forget, even the men will be there. But after school, I wish you the best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Honorable, thank you so much. I can't speak after him. You've had nice words and uh, what he intend to do for you. I think the Foreign Affairs Shadow Minister, there is a lot to do. Given the fact that by the Act of Parliament of Uganda, most of our things are done through Foreign Affairs. Your director knows. The board will never sit without Foreign Affairs. A lot that Foreign Affairs participates as the government of Uganda. Okay. Uh, one issue then, my honorable, uh, someone has asked here on the phone, Muri Ruddawa, uh, Salam TV is a Luganda TV. My store, I think, sent want to know what is happening. In two minutes, let me tell these people, because we are live, the whole nation is here. If you have a mother, just send a WhatsApp, put on Salam TV, he will see you. For my people that have requested to tell them where we are, Tuli wano, ono ye honorable member of parliament, honorable muwada, we tuli na ye director. Ngechitule se wano, okulava ebitone biyaba na bafe, tuli ko Islamic University, etende kero, elie ya ulide kubana abobu wala. Gwariku TV, nsaba, tawani wangatambuze, katono nyo orabe angels, eh? the young girls, the angels seated there. Nawe we gombe, omwana wo afana neko buatio. Orabe ndabika jibarabika, orabe sanyu liyebalina. Nga wano wetuli, direct abadanga amba tutu dekubwa guga obutaka wansi wa 60, 60 acres. Kwa mbuziza, echintu chino chifugoti, anga chinene. Nga ngamba nebo sale kubi liyo rabe liya high express, uzirabe enteriku lusozi, neyo jetutuka. So chifo. Bakate bafeche bate kateka, abana bafe baje. Na mara achusa, na vakubana na atunuza kamere mabega jari, abana bawuga, embera ya mirembe, bali ya burunji. So, chechifo, eche ya gaza, chechiturese wano, chechiresa honorable member of parliament, nafe, tuje wano tuverenga tuwe yunga kumikuwa ano jafe, nga tuwe yunga kudirekita wa formulunji, Dr. Madina, Omulimo kwa wako ze, naba kulembeze vona aba university. Nga, nga we mwuri te hona levo muwada. Enetende kero lima nyikidwa. It is second to none. 
mumpisa ate bodda matende kerogo na university zisuka mwata anuze sibimanye bya education eno university ngoje ko makere university ye university yoku biri atenga ya university yoka e ya yiswa by the act of parliament of Uganda ereyo ochaza nyisa university eno Okubanti ya abanta bafuru mie katiba emu pipa minister bani wona wona university represented chechi for me kwa noja fabari kusalam tv wetuli era mwena mbaita mbakunga mujene hona lewa kiriza kusande insha Allah mujetu duke haba muja kuduki na musitira za mwe haba na muja kuduka nega uniza mwe na fetuja kuduka mujetu wagire yang awamana owobu wana kubanga bana bobu wana bano bana banga barunji bavute wanonga bana baifu e guanga liaferija kutereira so mweba lenyo salam tv mugende maso mugobele levi ntunga vivita ambula mula bebi tone ya wana bafet director thank you so much honorable thank you so much to speak after our guests here guests guest of honor i would like you to take notes hello assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh kubira ya kayimba umba yimbire mungu tamukere eh kuba Islamic University of Uganda Females Campus in Kabonja Etege so luduka Lueba tumye Run for Girl Education Ongiru kumira ukusane nga abili mubili mei Kumi bila abili mwebili Okunke kusawe mu Baka sawa mukage ze mutuntu Abadu siwa kuduka kilomita zimu endazo ka Sente zinava muluduka luno Zija kuyamba bola misetu watana mbabili Abata sawa deku malako campus Elanga kiti gule mituale itani ya platinum Mituale setu gold Silver mituale ebili Elanga situndiwa King Fahad Plaza Grand Floor Ikampala campus Mbale campus Ni arua campus Kampas, ukumu njiri singawo, kuwe simu zero msamu zero nya, msamu nye mo, sadu mukaga muenda Oba zero msamu msamu mukaga, sadu mukaga zero, emu msamu zero Rudu garo run for girl education, teri duwa musente, pull of right forwarders, mchiso giants, heal water, fati flare make up, ne karib support Uganda Football is always for the fan The fan who proudly waves his club's colors The one who is always looking forward to the next game day. <laughs> <laughs> 